Hola and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Today we're going to take it to the next level and we're going to change the kitchen tap. Here's the kitchen tap in question. It's got a small drippy drip leak. Also the customer's having trouble turning this on and off and they just want a new tap anyway. Here's our new tap here. Let's have a quick look at it. So we're looking at this. This is the new tap. What they have on the bottom is a standard uh, half inch thread, a small washer which goes on the underside of the sink with this nut and then on top of that a foam plate that allows the tap to get a really good seal on top of the sink. There are loads of different ways to connect the tap pipes up to your 15mm pipe. You can have the flexible type that has a small rubber seal on it and is very flexible obviously and very easy to fit because you, can, you don't have to have the pipes fully lined up or you can have a rigid tap connector which is a half inch nut with a little collar on it, then a, a, either a fiber washer or a rubber washer. This is gonna be a straight change type. We're not gonna to need to use either a flexible or a, a connector. Hopefully these two pipes, when they get taken off at the bottom of this tap, will line up directly with the new tap. But the first thing we have to do is isolate the supplies and make sure all the water's turned off. So when we do come to undo the pipes, there's no water coming out. Good. Now remove everything from under the sink so we can see the pipe connections at the bottom of the kitchen tap and access them easily. So this is what we see underneath. We have our half inch or 15 mil uh, nut here that holds on the pipe supplies. There's two there and also the nuts at the top. But let's have a look at the different types of tools there are to remove these nuts first. Number one, this is one of the very common tools you'll use to release a nut on a tap. I call it the claw because of its claw-like capability. This flips back and is also switch over and so you can tighten it up and also loosen it off. Very handy when working under a sink. That will come up underneath like that and go around. That's the loosening off one there. If you flip it over the other way, you get the tightening up there and that's how that works. Next we have a tube spanner with two different sizes. That will just come up under there like that and tighten up like so. Really easy, it yet again means in a small space you can undo and tighten up these nuts which is generally where you're gonna to have to work when doing a kitchen tap. And last but not least, we have a very similar type of tap. This one goes up underneath onto the nut like so and spins round. So say we have our tap just sitting here like that. This will come up from underneath and go on that nut like that. And that can loosen it and tighten it up. Of course, as I've said, if you're lucky, you can just use a spanner. So first we loosen that off, that comes away. Generally, as soon as it becomes loosened to the point you can use your hands, get in there and use your hands. That's fine. Then we'll try and get this nut off here. It's never an easy job this, but persist and you will win. Alright, now we do the next one, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. We might need our tools on this. So just try and get that around here and then twist it off. There we go, look at that, loosen off, and then you just twist that, keep twisting that round. A bit of water coming out, but there we go, and then do that same with the nut further up. Once you've released both nuts at the bottom of each side of the tap, you should just be able to pull it up and off, just like that. There we go, out, old tap gone. Generally, that's the hardest bit done. Fitting the new tap's going to be a lot easier. Now is also a good time to clean off any old bits and bobs that were stuck under the old tap. That made the new install look even better once it's in. Before we install this tap, I'm just going to show you how the flexible tap fittings work. This is a push type one, so it's push fit, so that just pushes on the 15mm pipe and that'll make a seal straight away. This end is the same size as what we're going to be screwing onto in a minute. That just goes around the end of your tap, like so, and tightens up. You can generally tighten these hand tight because they've got a rubber seal inside. They seal really, really well and the watertight seals aren't really that hard to come by with these. Right, the next stage after that's all cleaned is to put the tap in place like that. It's when this tool comes in handy because our nuts fit just in there and you can just slot that up underneath and tighten that up. You can get great purchase on these as well so you can tighten up the nuts really, really hard. We get our rubber nut and our, our rubber washer and our plastic nut. Put that over there like so. Start tightening that up and then finish off tightening up with our tube spanner like I showed a second ago. Put on there like so. Tighten up as hard as you can. Do that to both sides of the tap. 
this particular bit only applies if you're still going to use these metal connections here. Uh, if you are, I often recommend taking off the old fibre washer and either putting a nice little rubber o-ring on there or if you have to leave the fibre washer on, definitely try and get a bit of PTFE on there uh, before you tighten that up and that will really aid you in getting a watertight seal. Basically we now go back in reverse, tighten all these back up, all your water connections. For the other one we'll probably have to use that special tool again because it's so difficult to get at but just flip it over the other way and that'll be then in tightening up mode. Once you've gone through the agonising hell of tightening both of those up, you can then turn the water back on, test for leaks, and with any luck you should be done. Right, the water's all back on, so let's test for operation. You should get a bit of air in here, to the hot side. And a little bit of air coming out, test the cold. Beautiful. Right, so there we are, the old tap's been removed, the new one's been put on, we've uh, removed and connect reconnected up the water supplies either using our flexible tap connector or directly with the old pipes that were there. And we've turned all the water back on and everything's working fine. We're very, very happy. Um, if you need any more help or information or you think we've missed something out, as ever let us know and please favourite and subscribe to our videos. Thanks ever so much guys. See you later. Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice.